Hi, my name is Shiabuddin. I'm a visual artist, educator, and documentary photographer. My this show, Reconnect Memory, A Family History, here at Logan Gallery, shares the family legacy and history of migration. Reconnect Memory, a family history is all about migration and settling in a new country and calling home Australia. This is, we, I work with six families where families shared their mig uh, journey of migration and settlement to a new country. And this is all about shared memory and reconnecting themselves and connect with their family as well. If we talk about the exhibition, I think I would probably talk about firstly I try to incorporate where we came from through using our geographical map. If you look at this wall here, we found that I, we came to Australia, but we came from different country and I used the country map is proportionate to the size as well as distance. And that's helped us to understand where we came from and how we came from and where you now. If you look at the compare work in Australia to say Trinidad, where Elvin come from, it's very tiny country. And it's, if you look at also compared to Bangladesh, where I also came from and an uninspired family here, and you can see where we geographical location and the connection there. So, and then you go up there, Sweden there, a stick family, um, and here Frank, and then we go up the way to New Zealand where Lee came from uh, with her family. So this is connection here, and we now all together use the recent photos here to make our home and is in a multicultural country, but we come from different ethnicity and different places. This is Elvin's story. Elvin came from Trinidad, and here we see Elvin riding his journey by his own word. And then we use his family portrait here, um, which I used um, uh, his archive photo as a backdrop in his new house with his partner, Jane. And then we use uh, that family portrait. And then on left here, we see this is, we went through the archive photos and family allow me to go through the archive photos and we select around 100 photos from each family and then I combine them and overlaid them and create a artwork. It's like our layered and overlaid memory. In our brain, the memory never erased. It's all sticked and it's come forward one memory at a time and some other got hidden. So this is I try to create with this layered memories. Also, I really um, happy that I asked the participant to bring and lend me, lend me some their memorable but everyday item that they carry from their home country. And in this particular case, Elvin actually give us some money that he bring with him. Also, I used the archive photos and presenting them in different way. In Elvin's case, we use the domestic space like the cloth dryer and we pick them. So it's all about the journey we are in. Because when we're coming to a new country, uh, for a period of time, we almost lived in out of suitcase, like in my case. I'm here almost 10 years, but still we are transiting to migration. So we think, do things very, I'm not so cheaply, but very um, temporarily, uh, as long as we settle. So I try to bring that experience as well. So I create this space as a domestic space and our experience. This is Stig history. Stig came from Sweden and he is a teacher, writer, and he writes quite really rigorously and very well his story like other participants. And then we have a strict family portrait, 
Um, and this family portrait, we stick bring his children as well as his grandchildren. And then we, of course, like Elvin and other participants, we use Stig's family portrait to uh, family archive photos to create this layered memory. And if you look at these photos of the layered memory, our memory is different. Our experience, life experience is different. So I try to read their story and that incorporate when I overlaid them in this particular image. Stig, when I saw Stig's first shoe, I was really thrilled and I was asked Stig if he can lend me to show this to this exhibition. And he was happily donated this shoe. And you can see this a childhood shoe was, is like almost 90 years old or 80, 80 plus years old shoes. And it has a lot of memory to that. Not only Stig's personal memory, it brings our memory too. In Stig's case, we used his old suitcase to display the archive photos. So usually in our family, his life, we use shoe boxes and other old boxes to put all these uh, photos. Probably not more, more anymore these days with the digital, but still family does do that. So, and we displayed his image on his, the suitcase. And the suitcase itself has actually has a story to tell. It has a lot of dart. I don't whip up the dart. The dart, the time, all talking about. It has a beautiful sticker, Titanic. So that's all part of the, our memories. Very tiny and nuance of life. But this is, I think, what we lived on. This is Franca's story. Franca migrated from Italy. And she has a really, really great story of migration. She migrated with a ship, for, it took a long time. She got sick um, in a journey period time, and then we settled down. And the, one of the good things I want to point first is she actually lent me a pass, a visitor pass, which is a photo and with a stamp of the country. So it's like a, that time I believe there was no passport. That was the visitor pass rather than a passport. And that's beautiful photo itself. It's photographed, but at the same time it is a pass. So that's we include to the photo, in, include to the show, and I'm really glad that we found it. And then of course we use her family archive photos to create layered memory, which also we showed in hanging to a peg hanger, which is again, kind of reinforce our settlement to a new country and as, as well as the creating the domestic space where we lived and making this gallery to a home. At the same time, Franca also lent me to her childhood dress. And if you look at this dress, this is, we can't really, I don't think we can find this kind of dress anymore in this time where we live now. But this is, has all her life story in there. And of course we use the family portrait which you created um, in her place. Frank is one of the daughter's son, David. He was, we planned to show, shoot, but he would not able to make it. So what we had to do, we create the photographs and then he sent us his portrait and then we again embedded to. This is another kind of reconnection. Even, even in these days, we lived apart different countries as a family member, but still we are connected through the internet. So that's also another way of connecting as well, I believe. Here, devotee's story. And here she is posing for family portrait in her Logan home. And they are wearing traditional Congo uh, African dress. And I love this dress. This is actually, this particular dress of them take, talking about the country they came from. Also, this talking about the family legacy. It's talking about their journey. And they write quite a short, but very strong writing of their journey we can find here in this uh, story. Also, Devotee is a family who not only migrate to country, but 
she worked with community. So they, she came from an African community and now making Australia her new place, but still working within community. So that's a great, I think, things to share. So here, I use devotees archive photos and these photos actually you can see coming off the wall. It's like building blocks. When you make our home, we put the bricks one to each other and they kind of overlaid. And if you look these photographs, I actually asking visitors to look there. And if you look from different angle, different direction, some image visible more than other. And that's how our memory worked. The memory came forward and other memory get uh, hidden. And this is a, another way we feel and I try to connect our story. This is Anis' story. Anis migrated to Australia from Bangladesh, where I personally came from. And we had a cultural community there. Uh, but top of that, what actually is we find in his story, he came from a better life. He had a quite good life in Bangladesh too, but he felt that this would be in a better place for not for, for him, but for the children. And he migrated here just six years ago. And this is by this time he got his new home, which he built by himself, which is really nice. And we get the photos. And if you look at the photos, it's kind of mimicking the same way they're sitting in the in the family old photos there. And that was on a, on a beach in Bangladesh, which is Cox's Bazaar. And now they're in their front yard. Also in Anis story, he was quite um, generous to lend us few cooking intensive or cookeries. And this is particularly, we can see here, one is just small things. It's like a coconut scrubber. So when you, try to extract coconut flesh, you will use that hand. And that's, he bring it from home. And it's, it's got little tiny kind of chip going out, and probably it's made by hand, so maybe it's by himself, or maybe from his parents, we don't know. And we use that, that's, that's a craftsmanship there. And it's also talking about the country, the culture as well. And here we got a pot where we make a, uh, snacks, which is kind of a cake uh, with, uh, we use, uh, I think, rice powder, powder and coconut to do this. So it's kind of bringing not only uh, their family story, but also culture together. In Anis' case, we use also his suitcase to display his family archive photos. And of course, we use the, those photos together and create this beautiful, colorful, kind of layered image. This is Liz's story. Liz migrated from New Zealand with her partner and children. And they thought that uh, this is, would be the better place to live here. And of course, the family portrait where you can see this is her as a child, and this is her standing now with her child. So this is her with the parents. And then we use her family uh, archive photos in of the wall like devotee, where you can see this is coming like brick wall, and you can actually go through them and looking them in different direction. In Lee's case, we also using her kids blanket as a memorable item that they bring from home as well as their traditional uh, necklace. And I've found that necklace is very, very fascinating because this necklace talk about the Mori culture and their, uh, their cultural heritage, as well as the family legacy. I really want to thank to Lagoon Art Gallery for putting this show together and allowing to share this story. Also things with six family that I've worked with and this family collaboratively we all together tell this story.